In this video, we're going to continue solving formulas, and this time the formulas are going to start to get a little more interesting. However, what's really important to remember with all these variables and things starting to look ugly and weird, we need to remember our strategy is the same as with numbers. In other words, we'll simplify first, then we'll get the variable on one side, and then we'll solve the two-step equation by adding and subtracting or multiplying and dividing. As we do, an important thing to remember is that terms, things that are added and subtracted, will never reduce. We don't reduce things that are added and subtracted. I see people do this a lot where you'll have a, b, plus c, all over a, and they try and divide out the a. That's bad. You can't do that because of the adding, so don't do that. That's bad. If we have any adding or subtracting, we really can't reduce, or we're very limited in how we can reduce, and we'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, let's look at, uh, formula, it's got lots of variables in it, a times 3x plus b equals by, and we're going to solve it for x. We want to get this x alone in the equation. Well, we've solved problems with parentheses before. We know if you've got something in front of the parentheses, you have to distribute. So let's clear the parentheses by distributing the a, giving us 3ax plus ab, equals b, y. Now, we're still working to get that x alone, and we know we need to get rid of anything that might be added or subtracted to it. We've got a positive a, b, so we'll subtract a, b from both sides. Now, we have 3 a, x equals, be careful, they both have b, but they don't have y, and they both don't have a. They're not like terms, so we've got b, y minus a, b. They're not like terms. We can't combine them. And then finally, to get the x alone that we're looking for, it's multiplied by 3a. So we get rid of it by dividing both sides by 3a. The 3's and the a's divide out, and the x is finally alone like we want. It's equal to an ugly fraction, but that's okay, b, y minus a, b over 3 a for our final solution. Notice I did not reduce out the a's. That would be bad. We can't reduce if there's any adding or subtracting in the problem. This one's got subtracting, so we can't reduce. That is our final answer. How about example b, or example 2? Again, balancing through the equal sign, we see a lot of things we've seen before in other problems. We know we need to simplify the left and right side as much as possible, and on the left side, we can see some simplifying. We can distribute through parentheses. That gives us 3a plus 6b, and then we still have the plus 5b equals negative 2a plus b. Oh, forgot to write down here, we are solving for a. So we want to get the a's solved for, right? Don't forget that, a is our goal. You have to know what we're working towards. We can still do more simplifying, though, because we can combine like terms on the left side. So we now have 3a plus 11b equals negative 2a plus b. We recall from solving equations after simplifying the left and right side, what we would often need to do is get the variable on one side, specifically the variable we're looking for. We're looking for a. Don't lose track of our goal. We're looking for a. Right now, it's on both sides. Let's get it on one side of the equation. I usually move the smaller one, though technically it doesn't matter. So I'm going to add 2a to both sides to get all the a's on the left side. Now I have 5a, combining like terms, plus 11b equals b. 
Now we have a two-step equation. We get rid of the thing that's added or subtracted to the a. That would be the 11b. So we get rid of positive 11b with negative 11b's. The 11b's are gone, and 5a is equal to negative 10b. Combining like terms again. And finally, it's 5 times a. We've seen this before. To get the a alone, we divide by 5. And when we reduce, negative 10 over 5 is negative 2b. We now know what the a represents. Again, the strategy for solving formulas is exactly the same as the strategy with numbers. First, we simplify the left and right side. Then we get the variables on one side. Then we solve the two-step equation. Add and subtract, multiply and divide.